Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel and what I have here for you today is the Olight X7 Morata. I think I pronounced it ter instead of der, <laughs> Morata. <laughs> But um, this is a soda can style flashlight capable of 9,000 lumens. 9,000 lumens. 9,000 lumens. That is absolutely amazing. Um, soda can style, it has to be this kind of style because it has to utilize a lot of batteries. It uses four. 18650 batteries and they got to be um, good ones and we'll, we'll go ahead and point a couple of things out when we get to that but you could either have a really long flashlight with four of them or you can have this soda can style it's about the size of a soda can hence the name soda can style now if you're interested in this flashlight at any time it, it comes for a price <laughs> and it ain't cheap because 9000 lumens just doesn't come cheap these days it's uh, $200 um, okay you didn't hear me <laughs> or you think you didn't hear me $200 it, it's kind of a lot but uh, Olight makes extremely high quality flashlights and this is no exception based on my uh, week with it it is definitely made solid definitely um, the quality of a $200 flashlight if not better it's uh, it, it truly is amazing. Now, if at any time you're interested in this flash, I went ahead and put some links in the description box below. Uh, one being to the Olight store, where you get it directly. And it's actually cheapest directly from them for uh, $199.95. Free shipping does not include the batteries. Now, uh, also deep down in the description, you can get the really good Olight batteries and actually 19 bucks for four is pretty amazing and you can get that from the store too and I went ahead and put a link to the Olight store to get those too now if you don't want to get it from them and you want to search Amazon I went ahead and did a search for the X7 Murata on Amazon and I put that link underneath the Olight store so let's go ahead and take a close look I'd like to show you how it would come here is the box little uh, hangy thing. I guess if stores want to go ahead and put that up on a display. Here is the back. I'll let you freeze frame that if you want to go ahead and look at the details that Olight provides. To open this up you have a nice magnetic flap. Look, by the way look at that. Five year warranty. Real important. And there we go. And first thing it tells you to do is to make sure you take the plastic off the lens. So you just pull this little guy here and make sure that you pull that off. It's kind of fun. It's like when you get a new uh, Apple device and you just peel that off. It gives you that experience. And actually this is very um, well presented. Really nice. Now in here you get a couple of other things. You get a little pouch or a holster, whatever you want to call it. it appears to be made very well. You have the Olight logo right there. And you go ahead and put this on to different belts or whatnot. And you also have a little D ring right there. It's Velcro. Not a big fan of Velcro, but not really a tactical flashlight, so I'm not too concerned about keeping things quiet. But really nice ballistic style. Maybe it is ballistic nylon there. And hole on the bottom, stretchy. Okay, that's enough of the holster 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 and what else do we get I think that's everything else in the box set that aside and we get ourselves a manual in a thousand different languages got that covered and you get a sticker so you can proudly display that you are an Olight owner to the world while you're, you're driving around in your cool car actually that is a cool sticker alright and then of course the flashlight itself. Now I want to go ahead and work my way down here but um, before we get started we're gonna to have to put the batteries in it so 
um, 9,000 lumens, you got to put some batteries in there. You got to pump out the power. So, really easy to do. You have a tail cap. Doesn't have anything on it. Just tail cap. Unscrew it. You hear that? Very nice, smooth O-rings on my O-light. <laughs> See his grease threads greased o-ring very nice and you can see here on the base here it's keyed you see these two little nubs right here those go into these holes here and here they, they stuck something in here it's a warning it's a warning make sure that you use batteries that can provide over 8 amps of current so you got to use some IMR style batteries and that's why Olight was nice enough to provide me along with this flashlight to review which by the way full disclosure they provided this for me for review they also provided me these batteries that are able to provide 10 amps and they're actually 3500 milliamp hours so really good batteries uh, for for only $19 that's a pretty good deal for that um, so here you go if you notice their button top that's another very important thing since these contacts here which would receive the positive side are slightly in recessed in there so a flat top is not going to work well so you definitely need to use some sort of button top alright so we'll pop those in there you can see there are springs and flats in there so of course the springs will receive the negative portion and that goes like that, that goes like that, and that goes like that. And then you go ahead and place the keyed areas into the holes right there. This way the springs are over the negative parts of the batteries there. So go ahead and do that. Then I would slightly reverse and then forward. This way you don't cross the red anything. That's the way you're supposed to screw things. All right, so let's start from the top. What you were looking at is a glass lens. This is a good thing because this probably would melt a <laughs> plastic or uh, glass. Uh, you're looking at an orange peel reflector that has sort of three bowls in there. And the reason why is because you have three Cree LED emitters. Now these aren't any ordinary emitters. If you take a close look, each em emitter has four cores. So you're looking at a total of 12 cores. So it is a Cree XHP70 LEDs, each having four cores for a total of 12 light emitting cores. So that's how this thing can provide so much light. You can see how well the reflectors work, because you can see how everything turns yellow, because that's the color of the emitters when it's pointed forward. Now this is not a thrower, just so you know, because it is orange peel reflectors and they're not extremely deep. This is like a, a floodlight. So think of this as a handheld floodlight, an extremely powerful floodlight. This thing is going to put out more light than ones that are freaking plugged in. <laughs> it really is amazing. I can't wait to, to show you all of this. Um, the range, you know, we, I already told you the top which is 9,000 lumens, it could go down as low as 3 lumens. Now, you can see you have some heat dissipation fins. There's also a lot of electronics packed in here to protect from overheating because with that amount of light, you are going to produce some serious heat. You have a button. This is a multifunction button that both turns it on and off as well as cycles through the different levels of light or lack of a better term a mode select switch so it's doing both it's essentially on or off you do not have a momentary you know, on this flashlight it clicks it on clicks it off and no momentary you have a little light here this is a low battery indicator it's going to glow red when your batteries need to be charged back up it has a nice knurling here on aircraft grade aluminum body, anodized finish, really nice black, like uh, most flashlights these days. Let you get a nice purchase on there, you're not going to drop it, and it's a good thing, but it is impact resistant down to one meter. And also, almost forgot to tell you, 
It's waterproof, IPX8 standard. It can be submerged as deep as two meters. And for those of you who like things in feet, that's uh, six and a half feet, right? Yeah, six and a half feet. If you wanted the feet for the for the impact resistance, one meter I think is like three and a third feet. So really nice bottom, completely flat. What this enables you to do is tail stand it, so you can light the whole room. So it's kind of cool that. Uh, you could just sort of point that up in the air just like that. It's going to shine the light on the ceiling and light the whole room. So let's talk about how this flashlight works. On, click the button. Off, click the button. Now if you want to go to the um, medium or high setting, when you turn it on, press and hold it, and there's your medium. Press and hold it again there's your high and then it's gonna round robin back down to low whatever setting out of those three that you stop at is where it's gonna remember so it has a memory so if I were to turn it off when I turn it back on it's gonna come back on that same brightness now to access the super duper turbo modes what you're gonna do is double click it twice so let's say it's off and you want to go ahead and bump it up into that um, turbo mode double click it and woohoo <laughs> yeah we're, we're talking seriously bright there and if you want it even brighter brighter double click it again and now you're talking nine thousand lumens I'm feeling heat all the way out here it really truly is amazing <laughs> That is just crazy. And uh, this also has a strobe mode, and it provides instant access to that strobe mode. If you click this button three times or more, um, it's going to do a strobe thing. I think it's 10 hertz. Please, uh, if you have seizures from this stuff, uh, here's your warning. Okay, here we go. Three clicks. One, two, three. There you go. And it's doing that also at the 9,000 lumen uh, level. So pretty amazing. So I just showed you the strobe. Now this also has a um, firefly mode where it can go as low as three lumens. And what you do is when it's off, press and hold the button. And there you go. Nice and low. You can see you barely could see it. So three lumens. And then to um, bring it back into normal mode, if you press and hold it, it'll go to whatever your last setting was there. So pretty neat. It also has a lockout feature so you don't inadvertently turn it on. If you press and hold it, you'll see it does that moonlight and then it turns out, turns off, and now you're in a lockout mode. So if I press the button, see what happens? It just turns on and turns back off. If I want to get back to life, you got to press and hold it, you'll see it sort of blink and now you're operating again. Let's run through the runtime and lumen levels here. Left in a moonlight, as you can see there. So you're looking at three lumens for 30 days. If you don't understand the words coming out of my mouth, I got the stuff right up here. Press and hold it, and that is 300 lumens for 18 hours. Press and hold it again, brings it up to 1,000 lumens for six hours, 30 minutes. Press it and hold it again. 3,000 lumens for 32 minutes, then it backs off to 1,800 lumens for 200 minutes. So 32 minutes, then 200 minutes, and it backs off. This is uh, part of its heat, um, you know, its electronic properties to protect itself. So it doesn't stay at the super duper high settings at these levels. Now I'm going to double click it, and that brings it up into the turbo mode. And that is 5,500 lumens for 8 minutes, and then it backs off to 1,800 lumens for 215 minutes. Again, it's going to back off so it doesn't uh, burn itself up. Now we're going to go into the S Turbo, or Super Turbo. That's 9,000 lumens. <laughs> I could, I, it's whiting out my notes. It's hard to read. Uh, two and a half minutes at 9,000 lumens. And it's going to back off to the 1,800 lumens, and it'll sit there for 200 minutes. So, pretty amazing flashlight. Now, I want to see if it remembers it. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and put it back on. No, it doesn't It doesn't come back to turbo. So, I think those two turbo modes, it um, it does not remember. It, it remembers the, 
the lower ones but the two turbo modes is not in memory before we head outside just wanted to show you this will roll away on you it does not have a clip does not have a hole for a lanyard or anything like that so keep it in the pouch or stand it up some way because if you lay it down it will roll away all right here we go the uh, fence here I don't know about 20 yards something like that I should write it down one day, I'll remember it. I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights out. And I'm going to turn this flashlight on the moonlight. And you can see, I'm sliding my hand up front here, but you can barely see anything downrange. So, true moonlight, pretty cool. Then we'll go ahead and bump it up one notch. You can see it's already lighting my whole yard. And that's, that's like the lowest setting besides the moonlight. Okay, next. Next. Now we'll go ahead and bump it up into the regular turbo. There's your regular turbo. And now... <laughs> Super Turbo, S Turbo. You can see there's a spot and a flood, but it, it really spreads out really quick. It easily just lights up my whole yard, but you can sort of see... I'm trying to bring the spot all the way over to the, to the edge right here. And you can see that the spot comes about a third of the picture, and then the flood is taking care of uh, almost the rest of the, the view here. So it really is amazing. I want you to take a look down range. Again, this is not a thrower. This is a floodlight. But even though it's a floodlight, it's still um, getting... I'm trying to uh, get down in there. There we go. It's still throwing light down there. When you, It's just brute force throwing light. Just to give you an idea. And I can tell you it's getting pretty hot in my hand. <laughs> it will get hot. Just so you can sort of see what's going on there. Pretty amazing. My neighbors are probably wondering what the heck is going on. I'm going to go ahead and point this at the aliens real quick. Just so you can sort of see. Whoops. I almost fell. Just so you can see. Light up the trees up there. Just so you can see. Sky. Just a little bit of light up there. Look at that. On top of those trees. Pretty damn amazing. Again, I'm just going to take a walk around here just a little bit. And we could probably watch it step down by itself here pretty soon. amazing huh um forgot to tell you this thing does weigh a lot with the batteries it's about a pound and a half so it's pretty hefty so if you're using the holster on your belt you better make sure it's tight or you might be walking around with the pants down to your knees truly is an amazing flashlight definitely justifies the the cost the only thing that i can find that's lacking with this flashlight again because i do like to be very very honest and clear is it, it will roll, doesn't have a momentary, and as far as it not being a tactical flashlight, in my eyes, because it doesn't have the crown bezel, but um, really, it, it's meant to be a mobile floodlight, a crazy bright 9000 lumen floodlight, so it's not really geared to be tactical, um, and everything is controlled by one button, so you have to remember, you know, the long presses, double presses, triple presses, all those things but if you don't have a lot of flashlights like me it becomes second nature the little indicator low light indicator doesn't say specifically what percentage of battery uh, is left when that little red light comes on let you know that hey it's time to charge so it would have been nice if maybe they give you a couple of different colors or some sort of single to let you know when you get to like 50 percent and then 25 percent or something like that so that's me, me being as nitpicky as I possibly can with this flashlight. Um, things I really love about this flashlight is the range. Not just the fact that it can do 9,000 lumens, but the fact that it can go down to 3 lumens. I mean, that is pretty amazing and a very broad range that it can handle everything. And it really is truly amazing that at 3 lumens, it can do it for a month, <laughs> 30 days. Um, 
and, and that's because you have these batteries so again you got to make sure you use those really good high quality batteries and again I do recommend that you just get the old light batteries when you order this flashlight um, absolutely amazing this is the brightest flashlight I've ever had in my hands and I've ever reviewed on the channel and I really am just amazed you know uh, okay I, I don't want to giggle <laughs> but when you put this thing in super turbo s turbo whatever you're it's like when you get into a car that has 600 horsepower and you hit the gas and you just laugh with excitement and that's how I feel when this thing goes into super turbo mode. You can see how it's lighting the room. I mean, let me go ahead and turn this off. And it's amazing that you can see the difference because I have two floodlights in my face when I do my videos. So for, for it to be able to make a difference, and you can see just like that with all my floodlights already on. Ooh, and... Uh, it's like being in the the sun in 220 degree weather. I feel the heat on my bald head. Um, I wonder if I'm getting a tan. Now this is cool light, just so you know, but it actually is a slightly warm cool light. But man, you know what? This You could actually get warm with this thing. You know, if you have a chill. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if you could see... Okay, just so you can see, I'm seeing through my hand, and whoo, I'm sorry, it's getting hot. But you could actually see, use this thing as an x-ray through your hand. That is really just crazy. That That is amazingly hot. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. That's all I got to say. Wow. All right, I highly recommend it. Absolutely, it's walk, worked. It's walked flawlessly it's worked flawlessly um, definitely high quality that you expect from Olight and again you got the five year warranty so highly recommended here at the Gear Obsession channel get it while you can links are provided below links to the batteries links to Amazon to anything related to the X7 Heaven SX700 Marauder highly recommend it all right um, for those of you who are in Florida and uh, about to get whacked by the hurricane, please make sure that you get yourself prepared to get yourself out of there if they tell you to. I want to keep you as my viewers. You know, I like you all. You give me some uh, good comments and I do appreciate them all and I appreciate your views and your thumbs up. Um, I want to keep you all. So please, please stay safe. Also, that includes um, the other states that are following from that hurricane it looks pretty nasty and once it goes by don't put your guard down because all the spaghetti forecasts or have it doing some weird loop and it's going to come back um just when i was in the navy i remember there was a hurricane that sort of came up the coast and started going out and then it did this weird comeback thing i mean almost like it was hitting like straight out it did a 180 and started coming right back in you just don't know with hurricanes so keep an eye out on it stay safe okay i'm done being a mother <laughs> okay but well, thank you very much for joining me here at the gear obsession channel i really do appreciate every friend viewer subscriber and especially you and i hope you have a great day evening weekend wherever it is whatever time it is wherever you are take care bye